What's up everyone, Pierre here from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to our channel where we talk about all things fly fishing. If it's your first time ever visiting our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on those notifications. We regularly bring out videos and tutorials that will really help you on your fly fishing journey and, and we would love to be part of that. This video falls into our fly fishing tip series where we look at techniques and strategies that will make you a better angler. If you'd like to see more videos in this series, you can find the link to those in the description down below. Today's video is a very interesting one and it sparks a lot of conversations out on the water. And that is how to tell the difference between a male and a female trout. Before diving into the differences, I just want to make a couple of general comments because it's not always as easy or as clear cut as you might think it is. The first general comment is that most of these differences are only applicable to sexually active or mature fish. Now if you've caught a 2 inch fingerling, it's really hard to establish whether it's a male or female. You can always ask the fish, but as I always say, I haven't met a trout that can talk. The second point is that I've only seen these differences in real life, so with fish that I've caught on brown and rainbow trout. Unfortunately, I haven't caught many other species of trout so I haven't caught brook trout or cutthroat trout so I can't really tell you if this is applicable to those species. What I've done is I've done some research on the net and it looks like it is very similar so especially the kipe. Um, one aspect that I'm not a hundred percent sure that we will talk about later is how the anal fin is shaped but I'm sure that um, these differences are mostly applicable to salmonoids. If they aren't, or if you have any comments or thoughts about other species, please leave them in the comments section down below. With that out of the way, I think there are three major ways of distinguishing between female and male trout. Now, not all of these characteristics will be visible on the fish all at once. There might be combinations of them, or only one of them might be visible. So it's good to go through them and take this as a sort of background knowledge or just keep it in the back of your mind when you are out on the water and you want to know whether you've caught a male or a female trout. The easiest way to determine the gender of a trout, especially if it's a male or not, is to look at the shape of the bottom jaw. Now, when trout go into spawning season, they become sexually mature and this bottom jaw extends past the top jaw and it actually shapes itself upwards. So this we call a kipe. So this kipe is very characteristic on rainbow and brown trout that are in the spawning season. If you have caught a couple of these fish in a run and you see the kipe and suddenly you catch a fish that where the bottom jaw is relatively short or the bottom and the top jaw is of equal length and there's no carp, then you know that fish is a hen or a female trout. In most cases, the shape of a cock or a hen fish's anal fin is also different. So in a male trout or a cockfish, as we just said, the shape of the anal fin is convex and for the female trout, it is concave. Now the difference might be very, very slight. So if you're fishing in a specific river You'll only start noticing this as, you, as you've caught a couple of fish. It's not something that is very like as characteristic or as eye-catching as the cup, but it is a way of determining it, especially um, if we're not in the spawning season. A third method that makes it easy to establish um, the gender of a fish, especially for a cockfish, is the coloration during the spawning season. Now, the fish develops this incredible rich red and dark brown or dark green coloration with incredibly red lit up cheeks and this usually goes hand in hand with an adult fish or a sexually active fish that has developed that carp that we just spoke about. I hope that this video has shed some light for you on how to determine whether a trout is male or female. If you're lucky in your area or the area that you regularly fish, the fish develop or the male fish for that for that matter, develop striking colors during spawning season. So it makes it easy to, to distinguish between male and female fish. Doesn't matter what gender you end up catching in the end, be sure to treat them all with the same level of respect that they deserve. Keep those fish wet and handle them as little as possible. 
please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. Then we can let you know as soon as we release any videos, tutorials or gear reviews in the future. Until next time, cheers.